supposed to be the famous Mike thing that James Brown does, you know, he drops it down and kicks it in and picks back up. Another soul singer named Joe Tex claims that I did that first. So he says, Brown stole from me. Brown says, no, I did that first. You stole from me. And conflict ensues. Joe Tex apparently had a girlfriend who was a background singer named Bea Ford, very attractive woman. And at some point, Brown woos her, seduces her. And not only does she leave Joe Tex's band, she leaves Joe Tex. She became James' woman. I mean, they were super bad. So then Joe Tex makes this incredible record called You Keep Her. James, I got your letter. It came to me today. You said I could have my baby back. But I don't want her that way. So you keep her. You keep her. Because, man, she belongs to you. He's calling out James Brown by name in the beginning of the song. You know, I taught her how to dress. I taught her how to fix her hair. But you can have her now. And so now, James Brown's whacked out of his mind. James finds out that uh, Joe Tex is going to be hanging out at a club in Georgia called Club 15. It was an Otis Redding show. James grabs a couple of shotguns. He rolled into the spot like it was a gangster movie and starts spraying. Otis Redding hid behind the piano. I don't know if he actually meant to shoot Joe Tex, but he sure meant to scare the hell out of Joe Tex. The guy who ran the club had hogs in the back. James didn't hit any people, but he hit a couple of hogs. So Brown really went buck wild. He's off before the authorities can get at him, but several people who work for him stand around, hey, uh, just in case, you're all right, here's a couple of dollars. So basically they bought everyone silence. World famous.